Hi everyone, I'm Jordi from Yepper Design and uh, welcome to another great tutorial. Um, in this tutorial I will uh, explain you how to use our new designer bundle, Title Touch. Okay, Title Touch is uh, our 30 great uh, templates for your titles in Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, I recommend uh, to use uh, CS3 or CS4. Um, it also uh, works on CS2, but not 100%. Okay, uh, but let me just show you how to uh, use uh, the product. So uh, we're into uh, Adobe Premiere Pro right now. Uh, this is CS4, uh, CS3, I'm sorry, and uh, we're going to start by creating a new title. Okay, so we're going to right-click here, say new title. Okay, this is all basic stuff. Okay, uh, going to name it Yepper Design and our title panel will open. Okay, we're just gonna make a new title. Yepper design. There we go, and why is it so big? And so stupid. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I guess we'll just have to give it some other. Yeah, some little style or something. Yeah, th that will do it. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Just gonna make it a little, little smaller. Okay, I'm gonna center it up, and there we go. We got a simple title, Yepper Design. All right. Uh, I'm gonna close this, and I'm gonna import my title. There we go. Um, so now we're gonna put uh, the templates from the product on this title. Now, how are we gonna do that? Uh, we open up the product, uh, the designer bundle. So if you open it, you'll see. Uh, Lots of Premiere Pro uh, projects. Okay, um, so I'm just gonna pick one out. Uh, I don't know which one should I pick. Uh, bubble. Okay, uh, for example. No, I'm gonna take Reflect. I really like this one. Okay, um, so we're just gonna we're just gonna drag it into our uh, project panel in uh, Premiere Pro. Okay, so once uh, it is uh, dragged into it, you see a little uh, folder right here, and you can open it up with this arrow, and you'll see uh, the sequence, sequence one from Reflect. Okay, so just double click on it, and, you, and you'll see uh, another sequence will open right here. And then you just look through this sequence, so you see two titles, so it has been duplicated. So you're gonna do this, the same thing, okay? You're gonna right click on it, and then say copy, we go to video channel two. We're gonna say paste, okay, or control V is paste, okay. Uh, so we also have it in two video channels. Okay, we're gonna check back right there, and we're gonna copy all the effects from this one to our sequence. Okay, so we select one and we click on effect control. Uh, we're gonna start with the bottom layer. Uh, Gonna select them all. Okay, you can do this by just uh, holding your control button and select them all, or you can do control A and select them all. Then we're gonna copy them, control C. We go back to our sequence. We select our uh, the, the layer beneath, okay? So in video channel one, as we uh, copy them from uh, the other sequence. And we're gonna select them all. I'm gonna say control V, paste. And we've got already the reflection. Okay, gonna line it up. Uh, now, as you see, it's not beneath it. Okay, so it should be beneath it. So we're just gonna play with the motion, and we're just gonna drag it under it. There we go. We've got a nice reflection. Okay, but I see this uh, letter type is not quite good for uh, a reflection thing. Okay, okay, but you see, it works. Okay. Uh, Something else. Uh, I'm just gonna delete it. I'm gonna close this one because um, I got 30 great uh, templates. Okay, not gonna show you them all, just a couple of them. Um, what I also also like is uh, the bl the blood, the blood one. Okay, I'm gonna drag another one in it. Uh, I don't know which one to pick. Um, I really don't know. Um. Bubble, yeah, bubble. <laughs> okay, bubble is cool. Um, I'm gonna start with the blood one. Okay, gonna open up the sequence. We already see an example of it. Okay, uh, we're gonna select it in our uh, effect control. We're gonna say Control A, Control C, uh, Control select them all, 
and then uh, copy, go back to our sequence, uh, we're going to select them all and say Control V. Oh, and then line it up, <laughs> and we see we got our uh, title in, in blood. Ain't that cool? Okay, well, as you saw, uh, this title here has, uh, is in black. Okay, so the only thing you have to do if you also want it black, you just double click on it and change your title color to black. Okay, you can do it by uh, choosing it here, say black, and you see you have the same right there. Okay, but I'm gonna pick white again. Okay, that's just standard. All right, this, this is the blood one. <laughs> I really like this one. It looks so awesome. Okay, um, by the way, if you select it and you want to animate this, uh, you can uh, go through these uh, effects, okay, and animate them. Okay, because if you do this or, or, or I don't know, whatever, you see the blood moves, okay? So that's really cool. Oh yeah. Um, okay, I can remove the effects, okay? Um, and I'm going to show you the bubble effect. Yeah, there, there, so this is the bubble. Oh, we're going to do the same. going to do Control A, Control C, go back to our Control A, Control A, Control V. And we should have a nice bubble effect. Yay! All right, um, I'd say just check it out. The product it's free to download on our website www.yebberdesign.com and then click on um, designer bundles and then you should uh, able to download it okay so uh, 30 free templates really awesome I really recommend this to download okay so check it out yebberdesign.com okay so uh, thank you for watching this tutorial I hope you learned how to use this product right now and uh, see you next time